Hello YouTube family, so great to see you back here. For those who are new, we are the Achampongs and we make videos about our move to Ghana. In this video, we are going to answer 15 of your sending questions with the most delicious mukbang Q&A. I mean, the food was so good at a point we couldn't even talk. <laughs> are we going to be able to answer all of your questions? Let's get into the video. This looks so nice. These it shrimp looks, are really, really nice. big. So let's taste it. Yeah. Okay. So I got a bunch of questions, right, for our followers. Mm -hmm. And we're doing something like called mukbang. Mm -hmm. So we're eating mm -hmm. and answering questions together at the same time. Cool. Which uh, I, I'm not... Normally, I don't like people seeing me eat. Why That's not, not... I don't know. It's just weird. I like but it. For it, you guys, I would do it. They'll see I'm it. enjoying my food. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's taste. Okay. So the first question is... How tall are we? Okay, um, I'm 193 mm -hmm. centimeters long. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You should taste it, you're really yeah. good. Mm -hmm. And you? I'm 177 centimeters. Okay. But how do they know from camera that we're tall? That's to me is weird. How do they know that we're tall? Yeah. Can you see that on the camera that we're tall? Okay, no, well. I don't think so. <laughs> it's funny, but we're tall. You, you guessed right. We're really tall. Okay. Mm. Do you watch Dutch matches? No, it's mm. nice, right? Yeah. <laughs> mm, right. Um, well, so I try to watch Dutch matches, um, mm -hmm. uh, but the internet is like <laughs> making it very difficult sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but at the moment, it's even impossible to watch any match. It's that's the current situation uh, we're into, but yeah. MTN is like the worst provider ever. No. It's always having breakdown or something. I'm not sure if they're the worst provider, but they're lacking. Yeah, really. they're really yeah. lacking. MTN, come on. They need to step up their game. <laughs> so yeah, you watch matches, but you can't really, like at home. So um, which, which um, thing do you support? Um, I, of course. Mm. I mean, Okay. I have a couple other clubs I like in uh, Europe. Okay. But that's about it. I just. I just number one. That's my number one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So next question. Yeah. Um, what sports do you used to play? Um, up until my twenty-second birthday, I played soccer, football, mm -hmm. uh, which I really enjoyed. And at a certain point, I switched over to kickboxing mm -hmm. and to fitness. Cheese, cheese okay. Food. And this is our shrimp bones. Wow. wow. Thank you. Looks very well. They all look so nice. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. But the octopus though, Kevin. Oh my god. Hey, okay. he only lived once. He need to try different things. I mean, I haven't eaten octopus. Wow. I never ate that in my life. But okay, I'm I'm gonna try before I die. Okay, so you used to play soccer, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This is what mukbang's doing. I you don't it. even want to talk, you want to eat. I like it. Mm -hmm. Their food I is really food. good. Um, La Beirut restaurant, my god. You gotta So, choke football, him. kickboxing, yeah. and uh, fitness, of course. Okay. Um, yeah, that's about it. Yeah. And athletics. When I was younger. Okay. Yeah. But now we're really slacking though. Yeah. Are you? Um, I used to do um, gymnastics. Yeah. Up mm. until I was like 12. And then I stopped. Because I thought it was for girls. And I wanted to be a big girl. So I didn't do it anymore. So now you're a big and you don't need it anymore. Well. I need it. I've noticed that you had gym sessions before when you oh, were younger. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So you think I'm lean? Yeah. Okay. Are we staying in Ghana? Well, that really depends. That's um, like the main question everyone's been asking. Mm -hmm. Like, are we staying? Are we leaving? What are we doing? Mm -hmm. mm. I'm sorry, this is so difficult. I think we have to clear something up. Mm -hmm. Because I think a lot of people thought, mm, because of our first video, yeah. we would move to Ghana. Yeah. And just live here like forever. Yeah. Um, that's not really true. So what we did is we took a year off of our life, basically, to go and Explore. try and live in Ghana. Mm -hmm. If it's possible, if the kids like it, 
if we like it, if this is a culture we could adjust to, if this is um, um, something the whole family would like. Mm -hmm. So that's what we came to do. So we saved money to come here for a year. And basically now the year is almost over and um, the money is going down too. Ghana is expensive. I mean, it can be expensive. No, it can my be. friend depends, Ghana is expensive. It depends how you deal yeah, with everything. Okay. We took our European life and placed it in Ghana. So that's like how we did it. Basically. And adjusted. And adjusted. Yeah. We some adjusted, parts. Yeah. yeah. No, but I think we adjusted like in a higher level. Yeah, that's true. I think you could live in Ghana for like, let's say 100, 100 euro each month. People live off that, right? It's just us that we try. We, we, you can, but it's yeah. difficult. It's, um, it depends. It depends no, but people on do. What you need. Yeah, yeah, of course, but it depends we, on you. We need. were trying to live lavish and balling and all that. Nah, so nah, our nah, money nah, went nah, quite nah, quickly. Nah. No, Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. We didn't come and save. We came to spend and have fun and enjoy the whole year. True. That's basically what we True. did. Yeah. So now, in or leaving. And basically, it's up to this big man. If you find a job, we will stay, right? I'm looking. You're looking? Yeah, you're looking. <laughs> so, if you have a job for him, drop it down below in the comments. He needs a job so that we can stay in Ghana. Basically, that's it. If he finds a job, we will stay. If not, we're going to have to go back to the Netherlands and yeah. look for a job there. Yeah. So, yeah, that's it. That's the, the answer. Of course. This is Okay, thank you. It's lovely. Yeah. This is very bubbly. Okay, wow. thank you very much. Thank you very much. Should we cheers? Yeah. Up to La Beirut. La Beirut. Our first seafood experience. Very nice. Oh my god. Everything is so nice here. Mmm. Mm. This is really, really wow. tasty. Let me taste yours. Mine is nice. Mine is nice, man. I like it more than yours? No, everything is not, I can't even choose. This is so tasty. Oh, that one is really, very smooth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like sugar in your tongue. Mm. <laughs> okay, next question. Sorry, we're joking. Mm -hmm. Are we happy in Ghana? Um, yeah, uh, I think, I think we're happy. I mean, I mean, yeah, happy. of course. Um, but um, we're enjoying Ghana. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Ghana's enjoying us. Mm -hmm. um, our kids are loving it here. Mm. Uh, we feel the ease. We feel that we can explore a lot of things. We yeah. can learn a lot of things. And I'm still like, well, there's so much more to discover and to learn in this country. My thing is, we haven't seen like 10% of Ghana. So there's, there's so much more we need to discover and learn and what. Mm -hmm. But I think for now, we're really happy. Mm. We really are. And I like cheese. Right. You know I like cheese. You know? We have to come back mm. and just eat, you know? Don't do mock bang, nothing. You just eat. <laughs> Sit and be quiet. But for you guys, I'm talking. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. So are you happy in Ghana? I am. Bro? I am. Mm -hmm. I am. I would definitely like to stay here. I have some projects going. Um, I think YouTube is something that we can get to a bigger level. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm really happy here. I just want to interrupt you guys. I love this, mm -hmm. but I want to taste that. I'm, I really, so I'm, I'm just curious. Um, I haven't eaten octopus my whole life, uh -huh. so I really want to, oh to, to, to check this. I'm proud of you. You're going to try this. <clears throat> Let me take one with all the herbs and everything. <laughs> uh, should I put it at once in my mouth? Yeah, I think so. Yeah? Just try it. Mm. Is it nice? Mm -hmm. Do you think I should taste it? Mm -hmm. You know me, can I taste it? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm scared. Oh my god. Okay, so here I go. Mm. Maybe it's very well seasoned. Let, let me do the It's lemon. already seasoned. Let it's me unnecessary. Do the lemon. Okay, I <laughs> mm, I'm so scared. <laughs> okay. Mm. okay, let me close my. <laughs> Oh, okay. Try. Mm. Yeah. 
I was so scared, but this is actually very, very nice. It's nice. It's really nice. Wow. It's like, like chicken or something. I it can't compare it. Like, I don't know. I can't. I, was I can't thinking, compare it. Oh my god! I'm gonna taste like weird stuff, but it's really nice. I never had octopus before in my life. How do you feel about the coronavirus? Wow. Mm. Wow. That's a big question. You know, to be honest, I follow social media, I think, a bit too much, which makes me feel very, very scared and unsafe, mm -hmm. especially when they were saying that there are not enough flights anymore, the government wants us to return and all that. But, you know, for so many people, Ghana is their home, and this is our home at the moment as well. Mm -hmm. So I don't really see the point in returning, well, but it is something we should be very cautious of. It really and I depends. think Nana Kufuado did very well yeah. for, for closing the borders. He did that quite early, so I'm very happy of that. It really Still, depends. I'm quite scared. Um, I mean, it's happening everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, we have to be extra alert with everything. We have to be extra cautious. Um, yeah. Take it serious. It's not a joke. Yeah. Um, but it affects our lives at the moment because yeah, we're in between. We don't know what to do. Yeah. Stay, go, when we go. Corona's over there also. Yeah. In a far much worse way than it's now here. Yeah. And it's developing every day. So, so at this moment we're safer in Ghana, right? For the moment, yeah. But I you never know. It can change within days. Yeah. Are there any countries which are not affected? Yeah, probably at the moment, but still, uh, eventually, it's just a matter of days, and it, the, the, the the spreading of it is so fast. Mhm. Mm well. Let me say this, like, I don't want to overreact, but if this will be my last meal, I'll be content, man. <laughs> I'm saying that I don't really taste the seafood before, but this is nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, wait. Do you like having house help? Mm. I do, I do. I think that's just a really, like, um, um, something that's um, a bonus point. Of Ghana, that that is even possible to have house help mm -hmm. because in the Netherlands you can have that too, but it's really expensive. So I do, but um, mm -hmm. so we have two, right? One girl who helps us with the cleaning and cooking, and one girl who's like also helping with cleaning and cooking, but mainly for the kids. Yeah. I like the house help. I do a lot, but they need a lot of like guidance still. But that's normal. I, I think mean, that's normal. Yeah. But like, if you do that in the Netherlands, the guidance is like they have like a basic standard education, mm -hmm. which you know that okay, if you leave them with kids, you don't have to give them instructions. But in Ghana, you're like <coughs> still parenting very closely, and the person is there, just there to monitor your kids and be safe. Yeah. So that's why I'm not really struggling with, but. That's what, what um, I'm still trying to find a balance in between having um, having a nanny and not trying to tell her too much what to do. Okay. But throughout the whole, I'm really happy that we have house help. Yeah, it makes things like this possible. It makes life easier. Yeah, I do like them. Yeah. I'm very blessed to have yeah, them. Me too. And I don't, also don't feel my pain anymore because they do a lot. Mm -hmm. They cook. They clean. They bathe the kids, they do everything. And make so. things easier in life and make yeah. us focus on the real thing that real matters. Yeah. 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 True. We really had family time. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So I'm happy. You happy too? I'm happy. Okay. <coughs> so next question. Mm -hmm. mm, can you do a house tour? A house tour? Okay. Yeah, we would. We would do a house tour. Mm -hmm. I think we said what we would do when we leave this house, right? Yeah. A house from our house, right? Yeah, where we're living yeah, yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so we'll do the house to when we're leaving. Mm -hmm. Because, um, to just to. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> wow. These are lobsters. Are lobsters? Yes. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> wow. That really looks incredible. I mean. <laughs> Can we eat? You, you have to tell me how to eat it. I never ate lobster. So we had some more questions. Yeah, sorry. Um, one of the questions was, can you make longer videos? Mm. I think this video will be quite long. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, we will. Um, can you please shoot more often? 
And do you have specific days that you post? Okay. Well, we're now trying to take it a bit more serious. So we'll be posting more and more often. Our goal is to do it at least like two, three times a week. Mm-hmm. So right now we're only posting Wednesdays, but we promise you we do it more often. Mm-hmm. Will we continue blogging when we're in the Netherlands? Yes, definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think all of you we'll want to know what's happening in Holland. Yeah, it's also interesting to show our life there yeah. if we go back. But for now, I really want to stay. Mm-hmm. Really want to stay. Huh? Next question is, do the kids like their school? Mm. That's a bit difficult, right? Oh. I mean... It's up and downs. Yeah. It's cool. Uh, at days they love it. At days they hate it. Um, but they really enjoy it. They do. But there were some incidents wh- which I think um, I don't really condone. You know, there were some things that happened. Mm-hmm. So l- let me explain, right? Yeah. Basically, the kids' school is a really good international school. They follow the British curriculum. But we wanted our kids to be placed in a more of a Ghanaian school, mm-hmm. right? So we placed them in, a, in an international school where uh, the general public is mostly Ghanaian kids. Mm-hmm. And there are um, a lot of outside kids as well, like Lebanese, Chinese, Turkish, and all of that. But mostly are Ghanaians. So um, there are two sets of parents in the school. One set of parents who think their child should be really, um, like let's say... Um, really determined on academics, punish if they're not making homework. Yeah. Um, they wouldn't mind if their kid maybe will get beaten or doing squats if they're not doing something. And they, you have one set of parents which do not condone that type of behavior. And like us. I think, yeah, we, we don't, we really don't. So we want our kids to feel free, safe, and happy in a school environment. While uh, some incidents happen that made Especially Sophie Jane feel a bit insecure and not really safe. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, so the two sets of parents, school is now creating a environment where the two sets of parents will be happy. But I think it's a real challenge for them to do that. It's and very challenging. I don't know yeah. if we'll be waiting on that for them to finish or we'll be looking for a different school. Because our main priority is that the kids feel happy and mm-hmm. safe. safe. Yeah. yeah. So we'll take you guys along if we're going to go for a new house tour, if we're going to go for a new school tour, if Kevin finds a job. We'll let you know everything that happens. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. This is nice. And are you the chef, mister? Let me just say you do, did a exquisite job. The food was very, very nice. Thank you very much. Woo. Wow. Oh, I can feel it. This is like real fire, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is like an anniversary day. Maybe you should ask me to marry you. Oh, really? <laughs> Maybe you need to put a ring on it. Yeah. If you like it, then you should put a ring on it. If you like it, then you should put a ring on it. Thank you, Lebanese. Shukran. 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 Oh, Shukran. 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 <laughs> and what, what are the things that we really, really enjoy about Ghana? Well, people are beautiful. Yeah. People are nice, kind. Yeah. Always want to help. Yeah. Always, Always want, to, want help. to help. Always willing In to help. In any situation. Like yeah. you have, you have, you have um, uh, had a challenge um, with, a, with a cab when mm-hmm. you went back um, to Accra. Mm-hmm. And they were always helping. Yeah. They never asked for, uh, oh, you need this, let me do this, you give me something. No, they're just ready it's to help. It's and so very If kind you want to give something from your heart, you can yeah. do that. But you um, don't have to, so that's wonderful. The places we've been to and the places I still want to go to, I think there's so many nice places I didn't even know nice that Ghana was here. so beautiful, yeah. you know? I didn't even know. Yeah. So there's uh, downs, but there's also a lot of ups. Lot. And there's also one thing I really love that people around me are just accepting me for who I am. Yeah. Let's say that in the Netherlands, I am a black woman. And here, okay, sometimes I'm referred as white, but still I'm accepted. Like, if I wear my wig or not, I'm accepted. If I wear some strange clothes or not, I'm accepted. Mm-hmm. We're just one because everybody knows about each other. So mm-hmm. that's wonderful to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah.
Again, something I have never tasted. Star fruit. I'll go for the watermelon. So can I just eat it like this? Think so? Yeah. Okay. No? Oh, I caught it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So the question is, do we have any more family members coming to Ghana? Yeah. Well, um, we had, but I think the... Yeah, the current situation... The situation with Corona yeah. makes it very difficult. Yeah. If it's not, not even impossible. Imposs- yeah, it's not even possible. So, yeah, it depends on... Um, mm. On the, how Corona is um, developing. Developing, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm. Wow. Oh, wow. She's felt. <laughs> this tastes like candy. Wow, it's very sweet. Like when, when Micah said he wants candy, mm. we should give him this. <laughs> mm. Star fruit, I remember that. I look for yeah. it. It's very It's the first nice. timer, yeah. There's so many first timers we had here. Wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. The last question. Mm-hmm. Um, what is the favorite thing we have done in Ghana? The favorite thing, I think. I think the favorite thing I like to do mm-hmm. is exploring. Yeah. Everything that's really new to me, like this. Mm-hmm. I like it. Mm-hmm. That's that's my favorite thing to do in Ghana. Yeah. Just exploring. Me too. Yeah. And I like to try new things, meet a lot of new people. Mm-hmm. I think this is the best decision we have taken so far. Yeah. Just to come and move and broaden our horizon. Yeah. But True. there's one thing I want us to do, and they should be our witness in this. We need to learn to speak tree, especially you, Kevin. I have lessons. We bought something. Come on, I have speak. digital lessons. Say something then. Medase. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna make a promise, yeah. If we're still here next year in Ghana, we'll do the Q and A tree. Yeah, are you up for it? I'm up for it. <laughs> okay, so guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a really <laughs> lovely time with us. We had a really lovely meal. So whenever you wanna come and have some really really good food, go to La Beru in Accra. Mm-hmm. Bye. See you. Bye bye.